Just lately I've been having a little trouble with my banjos. Uh, none of them have really been pleasing me. I don't know why that is. It just happens that way ever so often. Anyway, I was over at Trish's house a while ago and I, I picked up this old uh, Windsor zither that I converted. This is a really ugly fifth string conversion. I just basically sort of halfway shaped a piece of cocoa bolo, stuck it on the side of the neck, took a piece of oak and wedged it in on the back side of it and put a fifth string on there. This banjo was basically a useless banjo. It was a wall hanger in a, uh, uh, at the uh, Narrows uh, pub down in Walterboro for about a year. It just hung on the wall. Uh, it had a, a set of uh, geared tuning pegs. still has two of them on there with the old ebony carved wooden handles and one of those broke off so you couldn't tune the thing. Anyway, I converted it over, um, put that fifth string peg on there. The thing that makes that interesting is that uh, on the Shackleton expedition, expedition that was grounded down at the uh, South Pole and they wound up living through the whole thing and everybody survived. One of the things they credit with helping them survive was the fact that uh, one of the guys had a banjo and played it. The banjo he had was one of these. It was an old zither, uh, Windsor zither. It's a completely different made banjo than most of what you see in America. His had a longer neck and it had a different uh, style head. His was actually either a five or a six string depending on how you tuned it. I just thought I'd play it. There's something about this banjo when I hit it tonight. It's, it's a big, clear, crisp sound that I'm really liking. So I just thought I'd spend some time playing that. <laughs> 